What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to another Warframe video. So, Season 7 of Nightwave just came out, it is the Nightwave of Intermission, and we'll be doing a full loot overview. This literally just came out like seconds ago, so I haven't even looked at this stuff yet myself, so let's get right in there. Before we do, make sure to sub the channel, do daily Warframe video uploads. We also do weekly reset videos on these Nightwaves, and yes, it's a stalker themed Nightwave, so there should be some pretty cool loot in here. And yeah, I'll be live on stream after this goes up, guys, doing these Nightwave challenges that we're about to go over right now. Because I want to make sure I have all this wrapped so we can get all the new stuff as quickly as possible. Alright, let's start off with the Nightwave uh, rewards. So, first level, Nora's Mix, Volume 7, 150 Nora creds. It's kind of funny how there's like a, a creepy stalker icon on this, but it's just a Nora cred. So, it's like, where did Nora get this from? But yeah, that's what you get for level 1. 150 Nora creds, plenty of options to, what, to use those creds on in the cred offering store over here. Looks like the sorting got messed with again. I love that. Um, level 2 is a Stalker Smokescreen Sigil. So it doesn't look like there's any energy effect on it from what I can tell, but there you go. Smoky Stalker. Two weapon slots at level 3. The Reckoning Mask at level 4. A new Operator Cosmetic. Looks pretty hardcore. Next, at level 5, is going to be 50 more Stalker creds. I, they're not called Stalker creds. They're Nora creds, but it, I want to call them Stalker creds right now because that's what they look like. Uh, next level is going to be level 6, Stalker Spectre Blueprint. So, you might remember in the the preview event, or the preview post they had, this is a 3x Stalker Blueprint. Looks like it's a infinite Stalker, infinite, yeah, infinite Stalker Blueprint level 6. That's kind of cool. That's not going to be confusing at all for people. There's going to be Stalker in every mission now. Okay, well, that's what it is. Um, cool. I, that'll probably take like two weeks of grind to get to it. But yeah, that's probably the first cool reward on here is level 6. The Stalker Infinite Spectre Blueprint. Yeah, they definitely might have watched... Or maybe not definitely. They might have watched my video when I said this should be an Infinite Blueprint because it is an Infinite Blueprint now. That's awesome. Got a returning item at level 7. The Maligna Two-Handed Nakana Skin. This one's really cool. Uh, it's like an infested themed Nakana Skin. He's on the pennant. Uh, it looks really cool. Yeah, like when you got... Uh, there's not really much to say. Just a really cool looking skin that's infested theme. It's been the game for years. If you already have this, you will get 50 Dora creds instead at this level. But, yeah, I wish I could have a second one so I could dual wield them, but you can't. Uh, next one, Wolf Salute. A, a, um, a emote for the wolf. And if you don't have this already, there you go. It's a pretty cool emote. If you do have this, another 50 Nora creds for you. Level 9 is a melee adapter. Level 10 is the Stalker Mark Sundali. So this is for the front of your ship, like a hood ornament basically for your ship. Uh, and it looks like the Stalker's little icon, I guess. That's kind of cool. Some more Stalker Nora beacons at level 11. Then you got Forma, Blue, uh, Forma Bundle at level 12, already pre-built. The Saturn 6 Cyandana at level 13. This was the, I think the level 30 Nightwave reward for the first Nightwave season ever made. Uh, so if you want to get that, there you go. 50 Nora creds for me. Arcane Precision 3X, very good arcane for uh, pistols and Mesa and all that stuff. Actually, maybe not with Mesa because it requires headshots, but yeah, pistols. And then you got your first Augment mod right here. Okay, so you got the Buffed Up Burning Hate Augment mod at level 15, so about like four weeks of grinding. When the hate damages an enemy inflicted with fire status or heat status effect, they become vulnerable to status 120% more, 120% more status damage vulnerable. Wow. Is that a real mod? Well, how much does uh, Melee Elementalist give? This might be a stronger version of Melee Elementalist now that they buffed it. it okay, so Melee Elementalist is 90%. It gives you heavy attack, one speed. This gives you 120 if they're proc by heat, but it gives you no other stats. So, interesting. I don't. I still don't think I'm going to use this. I, I mean, I still don't think I'm going to use this, but it sounds fun and powerful at least. Um, but yeah, I usually one shot the hate is the problem, so that's not really going to help me too much. Unless they have heat proc from like the Vergloss, maybe. Hitting an enemy inflicted with heat. Yeah, maybe if the Vergloss fire procs them and then I hit them with the hate, that would be good. But the Vergloss can kill them pretty quickly anyway, too, so I don't know. We'll see about that one. More Stalker Dora Kreds at level 16. One Warframe slot level 18. The returning Wave Form Ephemera at level 19. This is a, this was a level 30 reward for a previous Nightway season as well, so yeah. Another 50 Dora creds or a ephemera that looks kind of cool to some people. Level 20 stance forma. Level 21, 50 uh, Nora soccer creds. Level 22, a new operator cosmic, the Reckoning Oculus. 
kind of hard to tell what it actually is. A grim accessory for the operator. Uh, we'll see about that when we actually get it in game. Unlocked. Nightwave Landing Craft. Okay, so oh, it's a, it's a deck. I was about to say the, deck, the Nightwave Landing Craft. It's a decoration for the Landing Craft. Okay. Okay. A decoration of a ship that's not even in this season. Uh, Nora Kred's at level 24. The new Dread Aug at level 25. Unseen Dread. Become invisible for 5 seconds after you strike 3 or more enemies with a single projectile. Deal 175% more critical damage with the Dread while invisible. Ah, they made it only work on the Dread. Darn. Uh, but still, after you hit 3 enemies, you become invisible with this uh, with the Dread. And you'll deal more damage with the Dread while you're invisible. Um, so that's interesting for sure. I thought it would be a crit damage buff for everything, but it's actually a crit damage buff only for the Dread. So that's unfortunate. But 175 is decent. Uh, this seems easy enough to proc, so definitely going to try that one out. But uh, yeah, level 25 for that one. You even tried it in the first place. So like four or five weeks of grinding at least. Level 26, got the Aura Forma. Level 27, got a Domestic Lyset Drone. That one's pretty cool. Level 28 is the Reckoning Earpiece. You got some like... Earmuffs or whatever. Level 29 is the Umbra Forma. And what is this level 30? The Deathmark Shoulder Armor. Oh, it's one shoulder. That's a pretty cool shoulder, though. So this is very similar to the Infested Armor piece from a couple years ago. It's only a singular shoulder of armor, but it does look very cool. So level 30 to get the Deathmark Shoulder Armor with this very bladed shoulder armor situation. For your first week of challenges, reminder too, this guy, guys, this is like the this is like a mini reset. This is like this is like week point five. This isn't even like a true nightwave reset. The nightwave is gonna reset on Sunday, so you could do these do these challenges now if you can before Sunday before uh, new stuff comes out. And also for these dailies, like one day five hours on that one, like you have limited time to do some of this stuff. If you want to get every little bit of nightwave wrap, like I will. But yeah, I'll be on stream doing all these challenges, but it comes stop by. All right, see what we got. The loot looks pretty decent. Uh, definitely could be a little bit better, but it's it's decent. For your first normal weekly of Lightwave Season 7, or Volume 7, you got Gatherer. Com uh, collect 4,000 resources. That's pretty easy for a weekly. Next one, Invader. Complete six different invasion missions of any type. Uh, forward works. You can also do capture missions, exterminates, rescues, whatever the quickest exter whatever the quickest invasion mission you see are. Just do those, honestly. Complete a defense mission leaching at least Wave 20. Pretty straightforward. Collect 20 different types of resources. Okay, this is going to be a short stream, dude. Get 4,000 resources to get 20 different resources. That's that's like an entire way, uh, entire level of Nightwave right there. No doing Daviri puzzles. Hooray. <laughs> You've got uh, kill 30 Eximus, complete 50 missions, and kill 500 enemies as your permanent weekly. This will be here every single Nightwave reset, guys. For your cred offering store, uh, I, yeah, the sorting is messed up. I... They should have added some. They had some new stuff here, though. So something is new. Okay, here range advantage for the Actigara is returning. Not exactly the most exciting mod, uh, but for the Actigara, and if, if there's no enemies nearby, you deal 300% increased damage. That's all it does. It does. It does literally nothing if there's no enemy. If there's enemies nearby, you just keep that in mind. The rest of this stuff: critical position for the Tiburon, giving you increased critical chance. Persistent strike for the Tonkor, giving you reload speed on direct hit. That's one kind of nice, I guess. But yeah, they're not really the best mods, honestly. Oh, they put the they put the. Uh, the Nightshade and all that stuff down here. It's like, where do they go? Okay. Um, yeah, so if you guys like this stuff, feel free to pick it up. But it will be back again throughout the course of this Nightwave season. This will be going on for, you know, months and months. So don't, no rush, guys. If you want to get the Dread Augma mod the second it's available, sure, go rush out, pick up 4,000 resources. But, yeah, you got plenty of time. Hope you got the Photon Overcharge mod from the previous season. I'll be live on stream in, like, a couple minutes. So I'll see you there. Uh, I appreciate your support. And let's have a fun Nightwave season together, guys. Take it easy. Peace.